Let's go live to Canberra now. Let's get a breakdown of the numbers, a little bit more detail from our election analyst, Tom Connell. Uh, Tom, you're our numbers guy. I know you've been poring over these numbers all weekend. The count is ongoing. Take us through what we know so far and your predictions. Yeah, I'll, I'll take you through the predictions on where this parliament will end up. Just looking at statewide, first of all, where we end up, and let's go to the swing on this. So you're getting a swing of about 12% against the then Liberal government. We think it will still be a Liberal government. It's a big swing against, but you see it's pretty disparate where it goes, and a lot of it's ended up going to the Jackie Lambie network of about 7 or 8%. So the point there is Labor hasn't picked up enough to get in that strong position for it to be able to form a not so much majority. These guys need 45%, at least, for a majority. So they're both way off that, and that's where we see it in the seat position. But basically, Labor, if it picked up, you know, 5 6%, and some more seats. It could have been in a strong enough position. It didn't. The vote went elsewhere, including to the Jackie Lambie network. Where that leaves us overall, let's just sort of um, take a look at the two ones in the most doubt, actually, first of all. So, Lions, if we go straight to these quotas here, this is the key number in the Hare Clark system. Three will go clearly to the Liberal Party. Then you get two clearly to Labor, one here for the Greens, and we do think the next one will be Labor there as well. So that's lines, the likely make-up, what will happen there. Then when we go to Franklin, this is the other one that's um, right up for grabs here. So when we take a look at the overall vote tallies here, you see 2.73. So Liberal will get at least two, Labor two, Greens one. Then you get an interesting battle. David O'Byrne will win this seat because he won't lose any leakage. So even though it's 0.72, he'll get up to one. And the prediction is Liberal do get the final one at three. That tips them crucially over to 15. It means they are within striking distance of a minority government with just using the Jackie Lambie party. As where it all goes up, let's see how these negotiations are going. I've popped the five Greens in Labor's column, not because the two have said they're going to do a deal, but the Greens have basically said we won't deal with a Liberal party. This was theoretically the equation for Beck White on Saturday night. I've got 15, I can form government. The issue for her is, yes, she could theoretically get David O'Byrne, for example. He used to be a Labor leader. That's not going to be easy. He's not happy with the party. But even if she then also got Christy Johnston, the other independent that's won, she's still on 17. In other words, she needs all the Greens, and it's not exactly a happy union, and the independents plus Lambie, or if you take away the independents, she still needs all the Greens and the Jackie Lambie network. And with the Jackie Lambie network not guaranteed to get three, they could end up on two. She might need all of them. So that's what it became for Labor. The uh, powers that be decided that was too complicated and they didn't want to try to form government. It's still tricky for the Liberal, um, uh, the Liberal Party. They can, of course, just get three Jackie Lambie network senators, uh, uh, members, I should say, if they, they all make it over. And then it's simple. They get to 18. They could, if the Jackie Lambie network only makes it to that two instead of three, also needed independent, and David O'Byrne would be the most likely. He's been pro-stadium. The problem with the Liberal Party, the Jackie Lambie network's been anti-stadium, Laura. So regardless, it's going to be uh, difficult for the Liberal Party. Uh, we'll see counting going. This won't be decided, by the way, until after Easter. They have to get all the primary votes first. Then they start uh, hitting the button to decide how the preference flows are going. So it's going to be a long wait. Votes just trickling in until then. We won't know the final result until, as I said, after Easter.